on guys, George here from bemoregeorge.co.uk, your home for photographic awesomeness. And today I've got a very quick Photoshop tutorial for you. Uh, today I decided to do something that's been asked about quite a bit and if you do any work in composites it's something you definitely will be needing to do quite a bit and that is enhancing a light source or in some cases even just adding a light source. Now it doesn't always have to be in a composite you can do it with pretty much any photo that has a light source visible in it whether that be a sun or a street light or car lights whatever it is. If there's a light source, you can enhance it and make it look more awesome. But today I've got this finished composite up here. There's going to be a full-blown tutorial on this composite. Everything from behind the scenes of shooting it through to the editing. That'll be on the website, bemoregeorge.co.uk, in the next month or two. So be sure to check that out. But I wanted to use this one to show you exactly what I do. So this is the finished photo. We're gonna go back and get back to our starting point. And we're gonna do that by just deleting the vast majority of these layers. So, right, I've got that and that already taken off. So what we're left with here is the starting point of the photo. All I've got is the background, which I created using two photos of my own. One's a Welsh landscape and one's a picture of some clouds I put in the top. And then the three guys all cut out and placed onto the background. And at this point, it doesn't look very good because nothing's been done to tie it all together. And there's a lot of things we need to do. But to start with that, we need a light source. We need something to put this light that we see on the sides of them onto them. What is making that light? What I like to do in situations like this, when there is no light in the background, I will place a sun. And we can do that in a couple of different ways. So let's get these guys gone so we just don't see them. We're gonna create a new layer and we're just gonna name it light. And for this, because the guys are gonna be covering it up, this is gonna be very, very, very easy. We're just gonna grab a brush and you can do that by hitting B on your keyboard. We're gonna make sure it's at 100% opacity and we're gonna make sure it's as soft as it can be. And then we're gonna make it pretty large. And you can do that with the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard. So I'm gonna make it, yeah, probably about there. And we're going to just do one simple click. Make sure it's white as well. Although if you wanted another color, choose that color. You can use yellow for the sun, blah, blah, blah. We'll come to that in a minute. For this, I'm just gonna use white and it's just gonna be one click right where I think it needs to go and that's it. And then if we put the guys back on, you can see we've got a light source directly behind them and it looks pretty good. Now there is another way, we, that, that genuinely is how I do this the vast majority of the time. If they're covering up the light source, that is all that I would do. I might make it a little bit smaller, I might use a different color, but generally that is all that I do. There's another thing we can do, and let's say they're not gonna be covering up the light source, but we want this to look a little bit like the sun. So what we would do then is we'd create a new layer. This time we're gonna set the blending mode to screen, and we're gonna choose a color that we like, say something in the yellowish range for the sun, and we're gonna put our one click right here again. But now we want the sun to be there. So what we're gonna do this time is create another new layer. We're gonna reduce the size of our brush and we're gonna change it to a darker color. And this is important that you choose a darker color because the blending mode we're gonna change this to is gonna make it considerably brighter than the color you choose. So I'm going to go with an orange down here in this black range. And it looks very brown here, but trust me on this. We're gonna put one click there, and then we're gonna change this color mode, or this layer mode to color burn. And you can see it's made it a much more yellowish orange color than the original brown that we saw. And that, if you were to group these two layers, so you can do that by holding down shift and selecting the other one, then holding down command or control and G, and you've got a group. If this was gonna be a sun, it's a bit big. So what I would do is I'd transform it. You can do that by hitting Control T. 
and we would just make it a little bit smaller and you can put it up there and voila you've got a sun now we could get rid of this by making our brush sizes a little bit smaller to begin with and you wouldn't have this but alternatively you can just get a layer mask reduce your opacity down to about five percent and just start painting away the edges a little bit because you're gonna have that little bit of bleed through you could also start with a black layer and then put your um, color onto it but you're still gonna end up with that harsh edge those are probably well let's just get rid of this the first way which again I'll show you really quick brush make sure it's on white 100% opacity pretty much as big as it will go because it's as soft as it will be it can be as well it looks like a haze so we put the guys on it looks like there's a light behind them and we're done there is one other way that I do this and I've got a whole mess of sort of lens flares and light sources that I've made and they'll be available for sale on the bemoregeorge.co.uk website but not quite yet depending on when you're listening to this but what they are are basically what I just described they're light sources sorry let me uh, get rid of them put onto a black background right it's it's a little bit more involved than what I've showed you it requires about three or four different brushes and blending modes and whatever but it gives us a really nice sun now this one isn't really necessary for what I'm doing because he's covering up the source but if I change that blending mode to screen you can see the black goes away we make this bigger put it about where we want it to go make it a little bit bigger put it here make the guys visible again voila we've got a light source this one's a little bit blue. I could easily change that by putting a hue and saturation layer above it, clipping it by hovering between the two layers, holding down the Alt key, and then just reducing the opacity. Now we've got white. And that's it, guys. That is how you would enhance a light source in a photo. And you can do it with literally any light source. You could match the color to what the light source is. The most important part is to remember to use an absolutely 0% Fat, um, hardness brush you need it to be as soft as it possibly can if you do that it's dead easy most of the time it's just one click of the brush sometimes it's two with a different blending mode most typically it'll be color burn and that's it you've got enhanced light sources so if this is the first video you've seen from me I would love it if you'd subscribe there'll be at least one of these every single week so please subscribe, hit the little bell, and you'll know when I've put up a new Photoshop video. I'd love it if you give the video a big fat thumbs up as well. Be sure to visit the website, bemoregeorge.co.uk for Photoshop assets, tutorials. There's even a podcast coming and a book. So check it out. Until next time, see you later.